Welcome to WP Forms, the best WordPress contact form plugin on the market. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the brand new Google Sheets add-on by WP Forms. The Google Sheets add-on allows you to easily connect your site's forms to your Google account and send your form entries to Google Sheets without needing to copy and paste any data. With that said, let's get started. After logging in and installing the WP Forms plugin, we'll first need to install and activate the Google Sheets add-on. You can do that by going to WP Forms, Add-ons, and finding the Google Sheets add-on. Click Install Add-on and wait for the status to change to active. Once the status has changed, click on the Settings tab on the left under WP Forms and then click on the Integrations tab. Find Google Sheets and click on it to expand its settings. Click on the Add New Account button, which will redirect you to a Google Authentication page where you can select the account you'd like to use for this connection. Click Allow once you've selected your account to complete the connection and be taken back to your website. Now that our connection has been set up, let's add the Google Sheets integration to one of our forms. In the Form Builder, go to the Settings tab on the left, click on the Google Sheets tab, and then click on the Add New Connection button on the top right corner of the Form Builder. When the pop-up appears, give your connection a name and then click OK. We can now begin configuring the integration to our form. In the Spreadsheet drop-down, select the spreadsheet you'd like to connect this form to or you can choose to create a brand new spreadsheet instead. Please note that only spreadsheets you have permission to edit will appear in this drop-down. For our tutorial, let's create a new spreadsheet and then give it a name. If you're using an existing spreadsheet, you can also select which tab in the spreadsheet you'd like to send your form entries to. Since we're using a new spreadsheet, we're going to leave the sheet name field as it is. The next step is to map your form fields to your Google spreadsheet, which you can do in the field mapping section below. Here you'll be able to choose which spreadsheet column you'd like to map a form field to. By default, WP Forms will map the entry ID to column A of your spreadsheet, so you can begin mapping form fields starting with column B. For example, in the Form Field Value column, let's select the Name field. This way, when a user fills out and submits this form, the data from the Name field in their form entry will automatically be sent to your Google Spreadsheet and be located in column B. Instead of sending a form field to your spreadsheet, you can also send a custom value instead, like a Smart Tag or a Google Sheets formula. To do this, select your Spreadsheet column, and then select Custom Value from the Form Field Value drop-down. You can then insert whatever custom value you'd like to send to your spreadsheet when a user fills out and submits this form on your site. You can click on the tag icon in the empty field and then select from the list of available smart tags. When you've finished configuring your connection, click on the Save button on the top right corner of the page. Go ahead and test your form to make sure that everything is working properly and you're all set. You now know how to set up and use the Google Sheets add-on by WP Forms. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit WPForms.com and check out our documentation page, where you can find step-by-step -step written guides for all of our features, add-ons, and more. If you need any extra technical help, be sure to visit our contact page and reach out to our support team. Hey everybody, this is Daisy with WP Forms. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where I can show you how to build smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.